Is it not interesting that America is being prepared for martial law and not many realize that it's happening? They are just blindly behaving as if all things are well? In fact, nations around the world are beginning to declare the same thing. They're beginning to declare martial law. The question is, when we see these things, how come people are ignoring them and behaving, trying their best to live as if these things are not happening? Let me give you a warning. If you are one of those people who likes to plug their ears and they say, I don't want to hear it, I don't want to hear it, everything's going to be okay, I put my trust in my leaders, everything's going to be okay, I don't want to hear it. If you're going to be one of those people, do not be surprised when the very thing that you did not want to hear is the one thing that now becomes a reality. And you're going to be living in a nightmare. You see, ladies and gentlemen, when the National Guard is being deployed and going from state to state, that should tell you already, curfews are being enforced in places that have the National Guard deployed. When a curfew is being issued, that means you are actually technically living under a martial law. So America has been prepared and people are becoming accustomed to it. On election night, the National Guard are coming and that National Guard is not going to go anywhere anytime soon. In other words, what I'm saying, brace yourselves for martial law. You see, the only thing that you can do, truly, you must keep your eyes upon the Lord. You must make sure that you are right. Because even if you have money, even if you have all the money in the world, and you don't even live in the cities, and you go into the mountains, or you go and you build your house off-grid and all those things, and you have your own you know, self-sustainable living, and you're able to live, guess what? The plagues of God are not going to miss you. And the wrath of God is going to come very quickly. It's not going to be long from here on that we are going to see the final events of Earth's history unveil very quickly. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rekwak with us, double understand the apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Yakim out there on the highways and byways, and those in this road abroad, all around the world, through the spirit and power of our Lord. So, pretty much what y'all just saw was this clip, you know, from a YouTuber by the, that goes by the name of Controversy7, which he said a lot of truth, even though he doesn't really teach the 100% truth, but, you know, he said a lot of truth within those two minutes of that speech so I thought I just might just bring it to brother's attention you know because you know what he was saying was true you know a lot of people a lot of people especially our people they just act like things are not gonna happen and like these prophecies are not gonna take place you know they just wanna live their lives continue to live and do what what they normally do on the routine on a, as their routine you know, as their daily routine, you know, but not knowing that their daily routines are about to be interrupted through this, um, through, by prophecy, you know, because right now we're living in a time of prophecy, you know, like the elder apostle to hard dubbed this year, you know, the year of prophecy, we're living in a time of prophecy, we're living in a time where, you know, Esau's kingdom, he is, is cr crumbling before, it's just crumbling, you know, there's division, you know, there's sedition, you know, there's food shortages going on. There's, you know, like the Lord said, there's earthquakes, there's famines in diverse p places, you know, the wars and rumors of wars. You know, all these signs are here. You know, everything is here. But like he said, you know, people just want to act like, you know, people just want to act like, you know, nothing's happening like these. Like these prophecies are not to be, are not, are, are not going to become reality. But, you know, but in actuality, these prophecies are happening, you know, what's beneath the surface. But it's only a matter of time before it's right in, in front of their faces where they won't be able to deny it, you know. Because, you know, they could still didn't be in denial and be naive to the, um, to reality, to the fact that these prophecies, you know, but the only time when they're going to actually 
believe it is when, you know, it's when they can't go to the stores anymore to buy food. Or it's when they can't, you know, when they're not able to go to work. Or, you know, or they're not able to leave their homes. Or, you know, the electricity gets cut off, you know. Like nothing, like everything that they, they use in their um in their daily routine in their everyday lives becomes useless to them. That's when they're gonna. That's when they're gonna. That's when it's gonna really just slap them dead in the face. But by then, it's gonna be too late. But um, I got a precept right here in the book of um Ezekiel, the twelfth chapter and the twenty-first verse, and it reads, "And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is that proverb?" Ye have in the land of Israel, saying, The days are prolonged, and every vision faileth. You see? Because this is exactly what our people like to say. You know, our people like to say, Oh, you know, Oh, it's not going to happen in my lifetime. You know, these prophecies, or what you're, or what we're saying, through the spirit and power of our Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahshua, is not going to take place. You know, this is what they say. Oh, the days are prolonged. That, you know, the only time it's going to take place is when you're like 70 or 80 years old. You know, that's what they like to say. So let me read that again. Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 20. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying. Ah, uh, Salak, yeah. Um, Ezekiel chapter 12. Chapter 12, verse 21. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is that proverb that ye have that ye have in the land of Israel, saying, The days are prolonged, and every vision faileth? Verse 20. Verse 23. Tell them. Tell them, thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Salakia. So tell them, tell them, therefore, thus saith the Lord God, I will make this proverb to cease, and and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say unto them, The days are at hand, and every and the effects of every vision. You see, the Lord said that the days are at hand, you know, and indeed these days are at hand, you know. You know, indeed, that the days are at hand because look at what's technically going on all over the world. In the UK, they're already protesting out there because of this this shutdown that they um that um the um the prime minister over there just um announced. You know, so they're in a four week they're in a four week shutdown, and now you got protests and you got the people uprising and protesting. Which is sedition. Because now it's going to affect their... Now that they got to stay home. That they can't leave their house. It's going to affect their money. Now they can't go to work. You know. Now, they, now they're facing eviction. You know. Now they can't pay their rent. You know. So this is bringing up a total uprise in, in the whole world. Because not just the UK, but also in Germany and France and all these European countries, you know, over there in Israel, you know, they're shutting down, you know, they're doing another shutdown. And ultimately it's coming, it's coming back here in the United States, you know, just here in Boston, you know, you have the governor just announced another, another stay at home order, another shutdown. You know, and more curfews. You know, so we're living in the time of martial law. We're 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 living in this police state. Because it's gonna be a really cold, dark winter. Verse 24. 
For there shall be no more for there shall be no more any vain vision nor flattering divinations within the house of Israel. For I am the Lord, for I am the Lord. I will speak, and the words I speak shall and the words and the words that I speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged, for in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word, and I will perform it. Save, save the Lord God. You see, so the scriptures, so the scriptures are saying the Lord is saying that in your days, you know, because people, when they come up to the camps, you know, they'll like to argue and say, oh, well, it's not going to happen in my lifetime, not in my lifetime. But the scripture says otherwise. The scripture says in your days. So in your lifetime, these prophecies will take place. The RFID microchip will be will be mandated in your lifetime. You know. Martial law will be implemented in your lifetime. These famines, you know, will be will, you will experience in your lifetime. You know, consecration camps, you know, mass death, you will witness it in your lifetime. So there's no there's no escaping the the prophecies of Yahweh Bashem Yahu Shai. There's just no escape. Because the Lord said he will say it and he you will and he will perform perform it in your days again the word of the Lord came to me saying son of man behold they of the house of Israel say the vision he seeth is for many days to come and he prophesies prophesieth of times that are afar Therefore say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, there shall, there shall none of my words be prolonged any more, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith the Lord God. You see, the Lord said, these, these days that, you know, that these prophecies are not going to happen won't be prolonged. Because these prophecies are taking place, they are happening you know, lockdowns are going down. Martial law is is here. You know, these pestilences. And ultimately, the RFID chip will be mandated soon. Sooner than you think. So within your days, is you know, these prophecies are happening and they are taking place. And there's nothing nobody could do to stop them. Thus saith the Lord. You know. So with that, all praises and glories to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakrakadash, the blood of the apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom to the Yakim out there on the highways and byways.